Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Six Scale Network Figure News. My name is Leslie and I will be your host for this lineup of figure gossip. In this episode we will actually be taking a look at all the new goodies that were revealed at this year's New York Toy Fair. Please be advised that the majority of items that you see here today are available for pre-order with Bulletproof Villain at bulletproofvillain.com.au. Now, after I rattle off the goodies that were revealed at this year's New York Toy Fair, I will be going through the 1-6 scale announcements, so buckle up. Let's do this. Please be advised that the majority of the 1-6 scale announcements and now and Please be advised that the majority of the 1-6 scale figures that were announced earlier in the week are available for pre-order at toyswonderland.com. If you like seeing figure news, reviews, and unboxings, please feel free to head on over to that subscribe and bell notification button. That way you are immediately notified as soon as new content goes live on the channel. Geez, I can waffle on. Let's get straight to the Toy Fair goodies. Now, a lot of these figures were expected and some of them were actually a huge surprise. Uh, I myself personally was very excited by quite a few of these figures. I've known about a few of them for a while and again, some of them are new to me, just like everyone else. So let us start off with the Ghostbusters by Hasbro. These guys look absolutely amazing. Now Bulletproof Villain knew about this line about two months ago, but like most things with Hasbro, there's so much secrecy that they kind of had to guess what the figures were. So Bulletproof Villain knew that they were doing the four Ghostbusters, but they didn't know if they were from the original movies or the new 2020 movie. So the other two remaining figures were assumed uh, to be the characters from the new movie. So when it was finally released that they got the images for all of them, um, Bulletproof Villain loved the fact that they were all the original characters and I couldn't agree more with that. These characters are absolutely stunning. We have the Spengler figure which comes with the Proton Pack, the Neutrona Wand, PKE Meter and a piece of Terror Dog. <laughs> we also have the Stance figure, again comes with the Proton Pack, Neutrona Wand, Ecto Goggles and a piece of Terror Dog. We then have Venkman who comes with the Proton Pack, the Neutrona Wand, the Ghost Trap and a piece of Terra Dog. There's a lot of dog. <laughs> and of course we have the Zetamor figure which comes with the Proton Pack, the Neutrona Wand, Ghost Trap and a piece of Terra Dog. So some of the accessories are quite personal to the character specifically. And then we have the Goza figure which comes with alternate hands, attack effect and a piece of Terra Dog. We also have the Barrett figure, which of course, without a doubt, has to come with a piece of Terra Dog. <laughs> these, you know, these figures are absolutely phenomenal and I was so excited when these figures were announced because everyone knows if you're a one six scale collector, you want to collect the one six scale Hot Toys Ghostbusters figures, which came out eons ago. And unfortunately, you just can't find them anymore, especially in my country, you know? So it's a bit of a tough one, but I'm absolutely stoked that these Ghostbusters figures have come out. I really want a set of my own. It's only wave one, so I'm really excited to see what wave two has in store. And I think the bath piece will be the second Terra Dog. What do you think about that? <laughs> I know I love it. <laughs> And did I mention that these Ghostbusters figures are actually due in June in Australia? I'm not sure how it will work with the US and the UK. You guys might get a little bit earlier than us. I still think that's so stupid. But they will get it before us, I assume. But to all of the Aussies who want to pre-order the Ghostbusters, they will be available in June. So excited, cannot wait. Now we also have another Ghostbusters item and that is the Afterlife Plasma Series Spengler's Neutrona Wand. This thing looks absolutely insane. It is a one-to-one -one scale replica of the film prop and it is available now at Bulletproof Villain for pre-order due in August. Honestly, that day can't come soon enough. I'm so keen to have a look at reviews of this thing. It looks incredible. Now, the product itself has a premium design and deco. It has LED lights, you know, who wouldn't want those? 
it has authentic sound effects, motorized vibrations, and it has a cycle through of four modes with the press of a button. So these four modes are the classic proton stream, the slime blower, the status stream, and the messen collider. This thing looks absolutely insane. It comes with a stand as well. So if you don't wanna walk around carrying it all day, pretending to be a Ghostbuster, you can put it on the stand and it'll look just as good. <laughs> now, Scotty at Bulletproof Villain did say one thing, and it's something that has piqued my curiosity tenfold. At the end of this list, he stated, these are all the items that we are allowed to have on our site at the moment. There are still a few exclusive figures which have not been revealed as yet, not even at the Toy Fair, which apparently will resemble original characters of the film. So, uh, my excitement meter is peaking, <laughs> and I don't think it's gonna come down anytime soon. But guys, that's the Ghostbusters, so it's some very exciting stuff in the six inch world. We then have a, another favorite by Hasbro. They have absolutely blown the stuff out of the water. It is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection at the New York Toy Fair. Now, I've already pre-ordered a couple of figures from this wave. Scotty was lovely enough to uh, <laughs> give me a hint as to what I could expect, and I appreciate that, Scotty. <laughs> but uh, this wave in particular has the Zeo Gold Ranger, which comes with an alternate head, alternate hands, a golden power staff and an effects piece. We also have the Time Force Red Ranger figure. Now he comes with an alternate head, alternate hands, the Chrono Saber, the Chrono Blaster, and of course an effects piece. The third figure is, oh, my favorite, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Blue Ranger, Billy, that hot piece of man meat. Billy comes with an alternate head, alternate hands, a power lance, two short blades, and a blaster. The fourth figure, which has excited many, more so than the Gold Ranger, can you believe it? The fourth figure is the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, Ranger Slayer. Some pink goodness, you know, separate from the lovely Kimberly. But this Slayer comes with the Bow of Darkness, alternate hands, three arrows, and of course, an effects piece. Now these Power Rangers are available for pre-order now at bulletproofvillain.com.au and will arrive in June. Again, it might be earlier for the US and the UK, <laughs> but in Australia, it will arrive in June at the latest. Subject to change. Now the next Mighty Morphin Power Ranger item that Hasbro did a very good job in keeping under wraps, uh, and I must say, Scotty did a very good job in keeping it under wraps to not be a blubbermouth, <laughs> especially to me. But uh, the next item is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger that belongs to our beloved Tommy the Green Ranger. Now this item has premium painted details and design inspired by the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. It features light and sound effects, of course, and you can unlock the iconic Dragonzord call, remix the tune, and activate the power glow effect with the push of a button. This item requires two AAA batteries, obviously not included. <laughs> and the contents of the item, of course, contains, of uh, contains, shit. The items within the box, of course, include the dragon dagger and a stand. Again, if you don't want to carry it around, pretend like you're fighting crime, <laughs> put it on the stand, it'll look just as good. Now this item is of course available for pre-order now with Bulletproof Villain and is expected to arrive in July. So hold your fingers and thumbs guys because we do not want to delay on this sucker. Now some more reveals for the Toy Fair. Some of these were revealed just before uh, the Toy Fair kicked off. Some may have leaked a few images but these guys look pretty damn cool. And that is the G.I. Joe Classified Series. It has a total of five figures, but they only have the info available for three at the moment. So the figures included are Roadbuster. Roadbuster, of course, comes with the large artillery weapons and a knife. 
The next one is Duke, which comes with a rifle, pistol, backpack, and binoculars. And then, of course, there is the lovely Scarlet, who comes with the crossbow, the quiver, and three knives. Now, of course, there is another figure which of course everyone's talking about. It is the Snake Eyes figure. Now this figure of course was announced at Toy Fair, but it is a figure that not many retailers have their hands on at the moment. It's just a show and tell. It's just showing off and making people want it, even though right now they can't really have it. Not even with regards to their bank account. So this Snake Eyes figure will be available, but Bulletproof Villain don't have eyes on it yet. When the item does become available for pre-order, trust me, they're gonna let the whole world know. Now buckle up guys, it's time for the Marvel Legends. Now with these Marvel Legends waves, they are absolutely huge, including some standalone figures, which people are just ridiculously excited about. Some are more excited about one wave than the other, but, Let's get stuck into it and see what we can expect. Now, please be advised that all the figures I'm about to mention here, he moved. <laughs> please be advised that all the figures I'm about to mention now with the Marvel Legends are currently available for pre-order now with bulletproofvillain.com.au. Now the first Marvel Legends wave we have is the X-Men Age of Apocalypse wave, which has the Sugar Man Builder figure. Now, even though the full lineup of single pack 2020 Marvel Legends, X-Men, Age of Apocalypse figures have been known since last year, Hasbro has kept a very tight lid on the identity of the Sugar Man back for months. Scotty was very adamant about that. <laughs> now the first figure we have is Jean Grey with the Sugar Man head and torso. We then have Sunfire and she has the Sugar Man arms. We then have Weapon X who comes with an alternate head and the Sugar Man foot. We have the X-Man with a Sugar Man arm. Uh, we have Wild Child which comes with the Sugar Man chest. The Dark Beast, which is, I think, one of the most anticipated figures. A lot of people have been excited about this one. And he comes with alternate hands and the Sugar Man hammer. We then have Morph, who comes with the Sugar Man foot. Now, these figures are expected to hit Australian retailers in May or June. It might hit the US or UK earlier, as usual, like I've said before. <laughs> but it is set to hit Australian shores in May or June of this year, so that's pretty exciting stuff. Now, as far as Marvel Legends go with this X-Men wave, it's really not bad at all. There are a lot of sought after figures in there, including Jean Grey, even though she just came out with the three pack, <laughs> but including Jean Grey, Morph, the Sugar Man bath is a massive draw to anyone who is at all interested in this wave or just interested in the bath itself. A lot of people are gonna be buying the entire wave just to get their hands on the bath piece. And if not, you can always buy them in the aftermarket. And pay your entire life's worth of salary to get in. I'd just rather not. <laughs> now the second Marvel Legends wave is the Avengers video game Abomination Builder figure wave. Now this wave isn't bad at all. It comes with the Captain America who comes with the shield. We have the Iron Man who comes with alternate hands, two blast effects and the Abomination leg. We have the Marvel, who comes with the Abomination arm. Ms. Marvel, who comes with the alternate forearms and the Abomination torso. We have Mac Eye, who comes with the Abomination head. We also have Marvel's leader, who comes with the Abomination leg. And Marvel's rage, who comes with the Abomination arm. Now this wave as well is available for pre-order now, but is set to hit Australian shores in May slash June. Of this year. Now this wave is very attractive for all of the Gamerverse collectors out there. It gives us another chance to get those Captain America and Iron Man Gamerverse figures. As we all know, Outback Hulk was released, well announced not too long ago, and these two figures are just another two to add to that shelf. Whether or not they are sought after is a completely different question entirely. There are a lot of Captain Americas out there, a lot of Iron Mans out there, but as far as characters go for the video game specifically, they are technically not part of the MCU and if people want to deviate on their collections, by all means, 
I don't think they are bad figures at all. Unfortunately, Captain America doesn't come with a bath piece, but as a result, I think he'll be easier to get. Now, if you compare both waves to each other, you kind of can't, <laughs> because one has the X-Men and the other one, of course, has the Avengers. But you know what? There are a lot of Avengers fans out there and a lot of people are excited for the video game to come out. So like I said, people who want to start collecting Gamerverse figures, it is not a bad buy. Now Scotty has informed me that there will be a few pre-orders exclusive to certain retailers and they are the Walgreens exclusive Iron Man 2020 figure, the Target exclusive Red Hulk, which quite a few people already have their hands on and want to charge me 100 Australian for it. Unbelievable. Oh no, that's US. They want to charge me 100 US. Hell no. Bye. And then we have the Gamerverse Star Boost Iron Man available at Target in the US now, apparently. So guys, if you're keen on those figures, the Red Hulk is available now at a stupid price. Uh, <laughs> and the Star Boost Iron Man is also available now in the US as well. So get cracking if you're keen on those figures. We then have these Spider-Man figures. Now these guys are very, very sought after uh, with the Spider-Man fans and collectors out there. So we are ready to expect the Gwen Stacy Retro Spider-Man, the Spider-Man Retro Spider-Man, <laughs> and the Peter Parker Retro Spider-Man. These figures look really, really cool. They are on card, they have that epic retro packaging, and I think they would make a fantastic addition to anyone's Spider-Man collection. Ooh. Now there are some uncertainties with certain figures that have been announced, and Scotty is just waiting for more info. Now we have news on a Marvel Legends Deadpool wave that supposedly will be hitting our shores in August 2020. <laughs> a lot of people are asking the question, but there have been some slight cheeky reveals that some people aren't entirely sure about as far as a due date concerned. Now these figures include the blue and yellow Deadpool, the black Tom, Maverick, Warpath, Sunspot, and Juggernaut. <sighs> Juggernaut <laughs> with a possible builder figure piece of Strongman. Uh, so a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding this wave, a lot of uh, assumption, presumption, just any umption word you can possibly think of surrounds this Deadpool wave. Uh, I am personally very excited about it. We've only had a couple of Deadpool waves from what I can recall uh, and all of them were ridiculously popular. So I think that if this wave does decide to hit our shores, it will be announced possibly at SDCC later this year. Now again, some uncertainties uh, with these Venomized figures. A lot of people are also very excited about these ones as well. I know I personally am. Uh, we have the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Maximum Venom Wave due in October 2020 with a huge question mark at the end of that sentence. <laughs> and these figures are based on the Disney XD cartoon. Not sure if this is a full wave or just individual releases. So Scotty couldn't really confirm whether they're individual releases or actually part of a larger wave. But some of the figures mentioned are Gwenum, so AKA Ghost Spider or AKA Spider Gwen. We also have a Venomized Captain America. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. We also have a Venomized Captain America which would be a Walmart exclusive, rumored. And we also have the Venomized Miles Morales Spider-Man. Again, don't know if that's gonna be a retailer exclusive as well, but with that, I'm just gonna stop right there because I could go on. We then have a Deadpool movie line that has been rumored, or is it confirmed fact? I'm not entirely sure, but either way, we have some figures to go off. So there will be a Deadpool, a domino figure, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and Cable. Now, Scotty expects these figures to drop for pre-order at SDCC. So, you know, SDCC wants to have some reveals of their own. I can totally understand that and I respect it, but hurry up. <laughs> so yes, Deadpool movie line, expected to drop with pre-orders at SDCC this year. Can't wait. 
<laughs> now we also have another movie line that was revealed, supposedly, or leaked, <laughs> depending on which one you prefer. It is the X-Men movie anniversary figures. So with this wave, apparently, it will come with Wolverine wearing the leather jacket, Mystique, Professor Xavier and Magneto. Uh, each with swappable heads that allow them to change from the first class era to their older counterparts. So you will have the head sculpts of James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender, as well as Patrick Stewart and Sir Ian McKellen. <laughs> now, also, Scotty predicts that these figures will drop for pre-order at SDCC as well. So, looks like SDCC have quite a few figures up their sleeve, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. We then have a standalone figure. Now, I am personally very excited about this figure because I have not been able to find a previous release of it anywhere. And that is the bath-sized Apocalypse figure, which apparently will be due in late 2020. So, late this year. <laughs> um, I'm very keen to see how big he is uh, and if there's been any improvement on the previous X-Men wave that the Apocalypse Bath came with. So, buckle up, there's more to come. And again, we have some more standalone figures. Now, a lot of these figures, people weren't sure if they were builder figures or figures of themselves. So we have confirmation that the standalone figures will be Old Man Logan, Nimrod, Old Man Hawkeye, the Vintage Collection Storm, which will be a Target exclusive apparently, the Modern Rogue, she looks Gorgeous. We also have the Punisher with the motorcycle and a deluxe war machine. Now, some very exciting news with these standalone figures. Apparently, Old Man Hawkeye and Rogue will be test runs for utilizing pinless articulation in the arms and legs. I'm yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so it's not just characters that they are announcing. It is a completely different technique and a completely different usage of the way they make these figures. Very impressive. So I think those figures will fly off the shelves like no tomorrow. I mean the fact that it's a rogue figure as well. <laughs> Bye. Now these standalone figures are still in the announcement phase and a due date is still to be decided. So I guess we can see more of them at SDCC later this year. Now that was Marvel Legends. I'm working up a sweat here, guys. <laughs> now, this is another toy line that a lot of people are very excited about, and need I say more? It is Star Wars. It is the Hasbro Star Wars line. Now, we have massive releases to celebrate the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, I just, I have no words. So, <laughs> let me just continue because I love The Empire Strikes Back. First of all, we have the Black Series. Now, with the Black Series, we have 10 releases spread over two waves, all on the vintage style, 40th anniversary card style packaging. So let us kick it off with wave one. Now, in wave one, we have Princess Leia Organa, who comes with a blaster, welder, and goggles. <laughs> we also have the Bespin Luke Skywalker. Now, he comes with a blaster and lightsaber, of course. We also have Yoda, who comes with a snake, his cane, and the lightsaber. We also have an AT-AT driver, as I call it, at at, <laughs> at at driver, who comes with the blaster. And then we have Han Solo, who also comes with his blaster. Now, pre-orders are currently available at Bulletproof Villain and are due in May to June. Of this year so some very exciting stuff for Star Wars fans all over the world now we have wave two of these black series figures we have the Hoth rebel soldier who comes with a blaster rifle and a pistol we also have Lando Calrissian yes it is the L man and he comes with his blaster and a cape we also have the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot figure who comes with a blaster Luke Skywalker who comes with his helmet and of course his lightsaber, and we have R2-D2. And again, these figures are now available for pre-order and will hit uh, all stores in August to September of this year. So one wave will definitely come after the other. They won't all hit us at once, but hey, we'll get the first wave, you know, 
dally and oar and then move on to the second wave. So it works out quite well actually. <laughs> we then have the Star Wars Black Series Imperial Probe Droid. Now this thing looks absolutely fantastic even in its packaging. Now this droid of course is from the Empire Strikes Back. It is very carefully detailed to look like the character from the film featuring premium detail and multiple points of articulation. The figure also comes with a stand which is a very, very attractive item for it to come with. I mean, hey, it makes sense. The thing floats. <laughs> so this item is also currently available for pre-order and will be released in May slash June of this year. So another very exciting Black Series figure. Now this item that I'm about to mention has been ridiculously sought after and that is the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Black Series Snow Speeder. Now this vehicle is a huge deal. Uh, it is a full six inch scale snow speeder with the only way you can get a DAC router figure. Now we all remember DAC. He was the one who was asked to use the harpoons and tow cables. I mean, he's iconic. Now this snow speeder features a two crew cockpit, retracting lander gear, and of course the harpoon and tow cable. This figure is available for pre-order now and will be released in May slash June of this year, very, very soon. Now the next figure for Star Wars, it is significantly more expensive and it hurts my wallet even talking about this. My wallet is in genuine pain, but this is an absolutely highly anticipated item and it is the Star Wars Black Series Darth Raven Force Effects Elite lightsaber. It's got a lovely tune of $499.99 Australian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it comes with a stand. So again, if you don't want to spend the day fighting crime, you can rest it on that stand and it'll be just as pretty. Now Darth Raven, of course, comes from the Galaxy of Heroes. And a lot of people actually thought that this lightsaber was going to be raised. And once everyone found out that it was Darth Raven's lightsaber, lifesaver but when it turned out that it was Darth Raven's lightsaber a lot of people got absolutely giddy with excitement <laughs> now with this lightsaber it combines advanced LEDs and video game inspired sound effects this item is said to be the most realistic force effects lightsaber yet now that is saying something <laughs> the real metal hilt features design and deco based on Darth Raven's iconic lightsaber the buttons activate the sound effects and of course this item requires three triple A batteries as always batteries not included this item is available for pre-order right now with retailers and will be released in September this year we now have the Star Wars vintage collection wave one Let's take a look at the goodies. Now the first figure of the first wave will be the Power Droid. There are other figures rumored to be in this wave based on internet speculation, which will be uh, the Airborne Trooper from Revenge of the Sith, Luke Skywalker, the Stormtrooper Disguise, and K2SO from Rogue One. So some awesome grabs in that first wave, apparently. We'll see if the internet speculation is as good as they hope. <laughs> we then have wave two which will be released of course this year and it will be the Jedi Luke Skywalker again there are other rumored figures to be part of this wave based on internet speculation which are uh, Hondo Onaka from Galaxy's Edge the clone trooper from the Clone Wars uh, and a Chirrut Imwe from Rogue One. These guys are of course available for pre-order now and are due for release in August. Now this is a Star Wars item that is absolutely fantastic in my opinion and unfortunately a lot of people missed out on the previous release. It is the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Boba Fett's Slave One from The Empire Strikes Back. This is a fantastic figure and I am so impressed at the detail that they have put on this thing. Now, 
Bulletproof Villain says that this is another item with a huge reaction from fans. Unfortunately, the resale value on the past release has kept it out of the hands of many collectors, but now they get one at a decent price. Now this vintage inspired packaging with original Kenner and Disney branding looks absolutely incredible. And it also comes with a stand plus Han Solo in carbonite. I mean, you just can't ask for anything better. <laughs> it is available now for pre-order and is set for release in May to June of this year. A lot of people can't wait and I am dying to see reviews of this guy along with the Snowspeeder. Just fantastic vehicles to want in your collection. And that brings us to the Transformers <laughs> reveals at Toy Fair this year. So Scotty at Bulletproof Villain has pretty much told me that this list is basically every New York Toy Fair Hasbro release for every Transformer for the rest of the year. And he expects that SDCC will drop more reveals uh, for Transformers uh, for the end of this year and the beginning of next year. So some very exciting stuff for some Hasbro Transformers fans out there. Now Scotty was kind enough to provide me with the classes from biggest to smallest. so. Let's kick it off, shall we? Now we will kick it off with the War for Cybertron Earthrise Titan class figure of Scorpionok. Now this figure looks absolutely incredible. He's up for pre-order now and is due for release in September. We also have the Commander class for the Skylinks figure, also up for pre-order and available in September. Uh, we have the Leader class, Double Deader figure which is due in August and we have the Voyager class figures of Snapdragon and Quintesson Judge uh, <laughs> pretty much all available in August. We now have the deluxe class figures and all of these figures are due for release in August this year as well. We have the Quintesson Alicon, the RC, Airwave and Smokescreen. There are also some Netflix figures announced to coincide with the series release, but are exclusive to some US retailers only. So y'all suck. <laughs> I'm joking. We then have the Studio Series Transformers figures, and we start with the leader class. We will have the Studio Series 60 Overload figure due in September. We will also have the Voyager class Studio Series 60 Voyager Scrapper figure due in April. We will have the Studio Series 67 Voyager Skipjack due for release in November. The 65 Voyager Blitzwing due in November. And the 61 Voyager Sentinel Prime due in April. So there are figures scattered all over the show for the rest of the year uh, for their release and SDCC will let us know what else is coming. We then have the deluxe class figures for the Transformers. Now, we are expecting the Studio Series 62 Deluxe Soundwave figure, the Studio Series 63 Deluxe Top Spin figure, and the Studio Series 64 Deluxe Cliff Jumper figure, all due in September for release. So that's some exciting stuff. Again, they're all available for pre-order right now. Now we do have two figures that were announced at Toy Fair but are not yet up for pre-order and that is the Transformers Roar of Cybertron Earthrise Deluxe Runamuck and the Transformers War of Cybertron Earthrise Deluxe Fast Track figure. So those figures have been announced but there is no release date set and as such there is no pre-order available just yet. But I'm sure that when they do pop up for pre-order Y'all are gonna know real quick. <laughs> now Scotty touched base with me quite recently to advise me of two very special pre-orders from McFarlane Toys that just went up online. And these figures are the Wonder Woman 1984 DC Multiverse normal figure and the gold armor version. Now these figures look absolutely Stunning. I cannot wait to see the film and probably may not even get these figures until I do see the film. Uh, now, the normal version of the Wonder Woman comes with the unfurled lasso, the wrapped lasso, a base and a collectible art card. The gold armor comes with her wings. 
<laughs> her flight stand and her base. Now these are some very attractive figures for all the Wonder Woman fans out there. Um, I genuinely cannot wait for these figures to come out and I cannot wait for the film. I'm so excited. A lot of people are umming and ahhing over the gold armor suit but I think that Gal Gadot is absolutely going to nail it. And what is even more exciting is that if Hasbro, if Hasbro are producing figures for this Wonder Woman film and franchise, that means that Hot Toys will need to do the same. Come on Hot Toys, complete my dreams. Make this gold armor version of Wonder Woman a reality because damn, I know it's coming, I predict it's coming, and if it ain't coming, well, you're missing out because there is a huge collector base and market for that figure that will be coming out. So, yeah, that's my two cents. <laughs> NECA. It's getting hot in here. Or is it just me? <laughs> no, it's not me. So let us rattle off some NECA reveals uh, from Toy Fair this year. So first up, we have the 40th anniversary of the Alien Assortment 2 7-inch figures. Now we have three figures involved in this reveal. We have Brett, Parker, and a bloody big alien. <laughs> These figures look absolutely fantastic. NECA are really on their game when it comes to alien product, uh, when it comes to predator content. Uh, you know, they're just fantastic. So there's really not much I can say about these reveals, except I really wish I was there to see them in person because, wow, they, from the photos, they look absolutely fantastic. We also have the Predator 2 Ultimate Scout Predator, which measures seven inches. Now, the Scout Predator has been given an upgrade with new articulation, assorted interchangeable hands, and two heads, one of which is unmasked. Uh, the accessories include open and closed disc weapons, blast effects, a uh, long range of blaster rifle and a collapsed version that doubles as a backpack. I mean, <laughs> you really, you really can't, you really can't get much better than that. <laughs> so fantastic job by NECA as usual. <laughs> we then have the Predator 2 Armored Lost Predator, which also measures seven inches. It is an upgraded version with an all new body of articulation, assorted interchangeable hands, two heads, one of which is a masked head with a functioning LED red light. And of course the accessories include a sword and a shuriken, which is of course the disc of blades. Uh, very, very incredible work by NECA with this armored version. Uh, you know, they really have to go a long way to suck. <laughs> which they really do. So I'm very impressed with this Predator figure. I know a lot of Predator collectors out there of the seven inch variety and I can guarantee that they will be happy with these guys. We then have some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle goodness. It is the one fourth scale TMNT Raphael based off of his design from the 1987 cartoon. This guy looks absolutely incredible. I love the execution of that cartoon look they gave him. He's got 30 points of articulation, interchangeable heads, and his accessories include dual size, extra hands, slices of pizza, and a turtle communicator that opens and closes. That is damn cool. I mean, usually with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle accessories, it's just the pizza and some weapons, but they've really gone out of their way to give him more stuff. And I just love that idea. And what I also quickly want to cover is the NECA Quint and Brody from the film Jaws. Now this film is an absolute classic and I'm actually quite surprised that NECA hasn't touched on them sooner. These figures look absolutely amazing. The clothing has incredible detail and I absolutely love these guys. So the collectors can expect an in-scale companion piece of the Great White Shark to arrive later this year. So that is some very exciting stuff for the Jaws fans out there to have physical, tangible, fan wear and merch to actually appreciate this film for what it was back in the day. Very impressed with NECA, outstanding job. Now we also had a quick sneaky peek at some figures uh, that were released from NECA and they are the 1-6 scale horror figures 
of the Michael Myers Halloween and Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Now, a lot of people in the 1-6 scale community are very excited about these figures. Hot Toys, Hot Toys, to my knowledge, has not produced any Michael Myers or horror-related stuff, and NECA took this on board and said, I'll do it. Give me that. We're going to nail it. We're going to conquer it. We're going to win. And they absolutely floored these figures. As far as horror figures go with NECA at the New York Toy Fair reveals, they absolutely smashed it. They have so many horror themed figures out there, both Tuny Terrors and, you know, going for the more realistic uh, products. They look absolutely fantastic. And again, I really wish I was there to see it in person. People sent me so many photos just in awe of what NECA had done with these figures. And I've got to say, I'm just so impressed. And speaking of the horror stuff, we have the Toonie Terrors. NECA have come to the table with some more Toonie Terrors for us to gawk at and love so, so intimately. <laughs> it is the Toonie Terrors Series 4 assortment, which measures in six inches. And we have the Regan figure from The Exorcist, Victor Crawley from Hatchet, Sam from Trick or Treat, and Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I am so excited for this figure. It's just absolutely incredible. I also heard that there was a 1-6 scale Beetlejuice figure that NECA had produced. Please confirm if that is correct, because if it is, I want that figure. I'm going to be all up in that. Now, for some more NECA stuff, I will just rattle these things off. Uh, we have the Toonie Classics Bill and Ted 2-pack, which measure, with, which measure 6 inches. We have the Bob Ross with the Peapod Toonie figure, again, another 6-inch figure. And we have the 12-inch classic 1989 Godzilla vs. Biollante articulated tail figure. This thing looks absolutely insane. It has 30 points of articulation. Uh, you know, this Godzilla figure for NECA's work looks absolutely incredible. Again, I really wish I could see it in person and I feel exactly the same way with everything that I announced today. I really wanted to be there to see it in person, but hey, New York, you're a freaking age away. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> now in the eight inch family from NECA, we have a fantastic few figures to address and one of them is the eight inch John Nada from They Live. <laughs> this figure was previously released in a two-pack and Nada on his own now comes with a shotgun and pistol as well as special sunglasses to see through the alien's disguise. That John Nada figure looks absolutely fantastic. We also have the 8-inch Victor Crawley figure from Hatchet. Um, now this is Victor Crawley's action figure debut. A lot of people are very excited about this in the horror world. His gruesome head sculpt features rooted hair and the axe wound left by his father. Oh, um, he has a belt sander and a double-sided axe and his clothes are uh, of a realistic plastic. Um, this figure looks gross. <laughs> this figure looks so disgusting. I hope the people who are fans of this Victor Crawley figure really do appreciate the uh, attention to detail that went into making it because we also have a beloved uh, classic character from the horror films and it is the eight inch ghost face from Scream. Now this figure looks absolutely incredible. This figure is fully poseable with a tailored robe um, hood and sleeves modeled after the character costume. Uh, he has a screen accurate sculpted mask, interchangeable hands, and he of course comes with his signature knife. Now, <laughs> this, this figure looks absolutely amazing. He's so simplistic in his execution, but he is a simple character. Just the way his costume is, and you know, they've really executed that those clothes and the, the hand sculpt really, really well. I'm very keen to see this figure up close. Now we also have an animated series of the Back to the Future figures. Um, when looking at this, at this photo, this is all I have to go off. The DeLorean looks absolutely incredible. I love Marty McFly. I love Doc. You know, I just can't complain 
about these figures. I love the colors. You know, when you hear animated series, you want the colors to pop. You want that awesome animation style to just come right out. And they absolutely did that tenfold. So amazing work, just amazing work. We also had some SH Figwarts reveals. Now these reveals include the Avengers Endgame Captain America, the Avengers Endgame Iron Man, and the Avengers Endgame Iron Spider. Those are the ones I know of and saw photos of. They look fantastic. You know, SH Figwarts rarely disappoint, you know, and I love what they've done with these figures. They look clean. And, uh, you know, I, I can't complain. Just fantastic execution by SH Big Wilds, as always, as always. There have been rumors of a NECA Marty McFly to be one six scale in size, but a few variables are still pending approval. It has been said, however, that figures shall be seven inches once released. So that is a very interesting statement um, by, by NECA. Uh, I've, they have my interest <laughs> you know if they could bring out a seven inch delorean as well uh, that marty mcfly could sit in i will absolutely forgive them for not making him one six scale piece <laughs> we then have some more teenage mutant ninja turtle reveals now we did see a photograph of the casey and raphael two pack which was revealed uh, shredder was also revealed more seven inch uh, tmnt figures uh, will grace our shelves this year and i think it is absolutely wonderful i think they'll definitely reveal more if not the same figures at sdcc so i'm so i'm sure a lot of people would love to get a closer look uh, at these new tmnt figures they look absolutely incredible uh you know we've got four uh <laughs> four of the the teenage mutant ninja turtles by NECA, the, the seven inch figures and they look they just look incredible so i'm very excited about their release of more characters. Now, I've actually been advised that the Master of the Universe origin figures were revealed at Toy Fair in New York and the old school designs shall be brought back by Mattel. Now, apparently Mattel had a fantastic display of all their Master of the Universe figures, including He-Man, Skeletor, just all the figures you could possibly think of and name, they were there on display. And, uh, you know, I think it is a fantastic idea to reissue some of these old school figures because some people who love the show and who want to collect these vintage items just can't find them anymore. And if they can, they have to pay a very, very, very pretty penny for them. So I think it's a fantastic idea by Mattel and I can't wait for their release. Well guys, that is it for the 2020 New York Toy Fair reveals. There were a lot of figures to cover, a lot of figures currently on pre-order, and a lot of figures still up in the clouds with all of us asking questions. <laughs> but overall, Toy Fair this year was fantastic. It was exciting. I really wish I could have got amongst it, but thank you to everybody who sent me photos. Uh, of themselves and of figures just showing me how much they enjoyed the experience it is fantastic and it's always good to see you guys enjoying yourselves in the community and this brings us to the one six scale announcements the ones we've all been waiting for the ones we've heard and the ones we all can't stop talking about so let's kick it off with the third party now first up we have the one six scale messiah figure i know messiah figure <laughs> Uh, by Toys Works and this figure first batch pre-order is approximately 134 US dollars uh, and is set for release in the second quarter of this year so very very soon now this figure comes with a very highly detailed head sculpt sunglasses eight pieces of hands a black coat and other clothing two size and a figure stand now, as far as figures go with the clothing and everything, it just looks fantastic. It's really eye-catching and the photos grabbed me and wowed me like nothing else. However, when it comes to the head sculpt, it's a bit... It, it's a bit not Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I don't know if that's deliberate because it's a third-party representation, but uh, look, if they didn't want to get the head sculpt right, they... They, they got that right. <laughs> if they wanted to get the head sculpt of Keanu Reeves right, I think they would have had to work a little bit harder to refine some details there. But otherwise, the clothes look great. The accessories I'm sold on. 
but at the moment, yes, it's just a head sculpt that I'm unsure about. Now we have the 1-6 scale Bane Frigga from The Dark Knight Rises by Dev Toys. Now this figure is a reissue and Justin has reviewed this figure before. He did a fantastic job. Uh, and this figure is a first batch pre-order price of 134 US dollars and is due in June or July of this year. Now this figure of course does come with the M34 or M35 body. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to touch base with toyswonderland.com and they will give you all the details you require. The figure also comes with the head sculpt, seven pieces of hands, the bat mask, uh, a photo platform, combat vest, boots, and various clothing accessories. Now, I'm absolutely mind blown uh, over this figure. The quality of the body and the sculpt just looks fantastic. You can't see any joints whatsoever. Um, they have just completely nailed this figure. They've nailed the size, they've nailed the brawn and the build of this character so, so well. I'm overwhelmed with the detail that they've put into this figure and I really wouldn't mind it in our collection. <laughs> the next third party figure we have available is the 1-6 scale, the Tank, the Tank by Toys Era. Um, now this figure is a premium edition. The first batch pre-order is a the first batch pre-order price is approximately 182 US dollars and is due for release in August to November of this year. So we still have a little bit of waiting to do, but this figure is huge. <laughs> uh, the figure comes with a helmet head sculpt. He is 49 centimeters in height. He has four hand pieces, a yellow jumpsuit, and boots. Now this figure also has a pre-order exclusive item which shall be revealed soon. What is it? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> but this figure looks absolutely outstanding. He looks big, he looks powerful, he looks strong. Um, it's a very good representation of the tank <laughs> uh, from X-Men and Deadpool. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm very impressed with the head sculpt. The helmet looks incredible. Uh, you know, perfect texture, really good job with the jumpsuit as well. I really can't complain about this figure at all. For a third party representation of the Juggernaut, I think it's pretty cool. Now this brings us to the official 1-6 scale announcement. So let's kick it off with some goodness. Now we have received an announcement from Mondo Toys about their 1-6 scale Catwoman figure. This figure looks absolutely incredible. It follows the same style as Dr. Freeze and Batman and many of their other animated Mondo style figures. Now, pictured is the figure in her 99.9% .9 final form. I don't know what 0.01% they're missing, but I'll take it. <laughs> As for pre-orders with this figure, it looks like Mondo Toys are skipping pre-orders with her and will instead offer her for direct order this US spring. So as soon as she is in stock, she will be available on Mondo's website. So we will all need to stay tuned for that announcement. She looks absolutely stunning and Mondo are definitely coming into their own with their animated line. Bravo. Now this figure announcement has wowed us all in the Hot Toys and 1-6 scale communities alone. But this is not a 1-6 scale figure. It is a life bloody size replica figure of Iron Man the Mark 85. Now this figure is from Avengers Endgame and it is valued at a first batch pre-order price of 17,240 US dollars due in the fourth quarter of this year or pushing it to the first quarter of next year. Shit. <laughs> this thing looks big. The, well, I mean, I, I, I can't even. Um, this piece has stunning armor with authentic, intricate detail and sculptural design, partially chromed with shades of metallic gold paint in a phenomenal way and has eye-catching LED light-up functions. Uh, this Iron Man piece holds the nanotech gauntlet and multiple accessories. You will need to contact toyswonderland.com directly 
for details on the shipping fee because shit. <clears throat> I don't think it's just something they can advertise. They, you really need to contact them directly about this one because you're, you're transporting a person, um, a life-size replica heavy armored bloody person. The light up function on the weapon accessory looks absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed with the detail on this figure. I assume that with this figure it will be put up for display at various expos and cons, um, hopefully around the world, but uh, it is likely that it will uh, possibly just be displayed at uh, the Hong Kong Con <laughs> later on this year and possibly SDCC. I really hope uh, that some people are able to get photos of this guy standing next to them just so that we have a size comparison because this figure just blew my freaking mind. And the thing is, it's actually quite ironic because about a month ago I was thinking, imagine if they made a life-size Iron Man. <laughs> That's, why would they? I mean, who does that? <laughs> and then, Strew's Bloody Bob. They make a one-to-one -one scale Iron Man Mark 85. I just, ah. Hot toys, you stump me. You stump me for words and I'm bloody impressed. <laughs> Moving on. Now the next figure has been very talked about in the gaming and figure collecting community and it is the 1-6 scale Batman Arkham Knight Prestige Edition figure. This is an exclusive figure that will be available first in Japan and only in selected markets. Now this figure is based on the appearance of Batman wearing the gold Prestige Edition of Batsuit version 8.05 in the video game. And this specially crafted collectible features a newly painted masked head sculpt with two interchangeable lower faces a beautifully designed multi-layer and multi-textured bat suit with a gold-colored electroplated Batman logo on the chest armor as well as black armor plating throughout the body. <sighs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it has a tailored wide cape allowing various poses so it doesn't have the loose cape like it does with the quarter scale Batman Begins figure. It has a wired cape. Uh, it has a very wide array of detailed Batman signature gadgets, including a Batman Beyond style Batarang, a grapple gun, disruptor, an REC gun, and a freeze grenade, and more. Which they may or may not have already shared with us. <laughs> Either way, that's pretty much enough detail to let me know just what is involved with this figure. Now some people say that this figure could be a cash grab because really the only difference between uh, this Batman and the other one is that he's got a gold bat on his chest. Um, <laughs> and that may be so. I mean I'm not exactly sure of the differentiation of accessories that are included and you know the details and textures of the suits and certain materials that they used in certain crevices. It goes into a lot more detail and a lot more complexity than simple accessory comparison goes. Uh, but all in all, I think this is a fantastic figure. I think it is absolutely beautiful to look at. And the fact that they have made it an exclusive figure might make it difficult for some people to get a hold of. So I'm very interested to see the response of certain collectors when the figure is available for purchase in Japan. Our last 1-6 scale figure announcement for this episode and a lot of people probably know the direction I'm going with this figure. It has been a fantastic ride of having this figure being announced and so many people just being over the moon about it. And without further ado, I give you the 1-6 scale Miles Morales Spider-Man from Into the Spider-Verse by Hot Toys. This figure is up for a pre-order first batch price of approximately 330 US dollars and is due in the second to third quarter of next year. So guys, we have quite a bit of waiting to do. It's unfortunate, but it is so worth it. JC Hong actually made a post of the figure head sculpt that he did the art direction and paintwork for and in hand, in JC Hong's freaking hand, that head sculpt look, looked incredible. You know, it wasn't 
a photo that was taken professionally with perfect lighting at a great angle. It was in JC Hong's freaking hand. <laughs> you know, and it looked incredible. This, this figure has blown all of the collectors out of the water um, as, as far as Spidey fans go. The, this figure is just incredible. As far as what the figure comes with, he comes with two newly developed head sculpts and damn are they new. <laughs> one magnetic attachable hair sculpt, one interchangeable masked head sculpt with four pairs of interchangeable eyepieces that can create numerous combinations of expressions. Here we are. Just amazing. Amazing. Just, uh, I can't even. Let me keep reading. Ten pieces of interchangeable gloved hands with a web pattern. He comes with a lot of clothes, guys. It's impressive. Like, a lot of clothes. Uh, he comes with one spray can, one Spider-Man costume pack, not wearable. He comes with five strings of Spider-Man web effects in different shapes and lengths attachable to the web shooters, one open spider web effect, one specially designed character backdrop, and four styles of pop stickers, including a dynamic figure stand with a graphic card. Ah, uh -huh. guys, I am over the moon about this figure. We all know how much of a fantastic movie Into the Spider-Verse was. Miles was a great character, you know, he had a great villain, uh, and he had great backing characters. You know, you just can't get better than that. They made this figure as beautiful as the actual film is. You know, we were all so carried away with the effects in this film and how different and unique it looked in terms of an animated feature. But what they have done with this figure, with the sculpt, with the face, with the clothes, with the overall style, it is such a different 1-6 scale Spider-Man figure to have in your collection. Um, and I am so impressed with the execution by the entire creative department. JC Hong, the lot of you, you guys killed this figure. You nailed it. And it is by far one of the most anticipated figure releases for next year. Well guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to advise you that the majority of 1-6 scale announcements you saw here today currently have pre-orders available on toyswonderland.com and a lot of the toy fair figures you saw here today have pre-orders currently available with Scotty at bulletproofvillain.com.au. But guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you found it fun. I hope you found it informative. Take care of yourselves, enjoy your figures, and I'll catch you in the next one.